Right everyone, thought I was being clever, right? Um, what happened, um, due to heavy rain recently, the, a part of the walk I was on was extremely flooded. So it, what I should have done is got over the stile, which I normally get over, and walked up to another gate and got over. What's happened? I've got, I need to be over there. So this is all a bit of an exploration at the moment. I need to be over there. I've just walked through a clay pigeon shoot tile thing. And, uh, where's the, where I want to be is over there. So I, I haven't got a clue where I am at the moment. But I reckon this will lead me to a road uh, uh, which eventually goes to Barrington Coombe area. This is what I'm guessing. Right? I've always wanted to explore this bit. Um, but uh, I haven't got a clue of what I'm letting myself in for. A car's just come round here. So There's obviously a farm here. This is a public footpath as well. I don't know where, I don't know what this is called. I don't fancy walking all the way back up. But there's a farm there. There's no signs either. There was a sign, you know, saying come this way. So, uh, it's early afternoon, it's okay. I don't mind doing a bit of exploring. Um, if I decide to cut the walk short, you know, because of diversions, this is what happens with me. I think, yeah, I've wanted to do this for a while. Right? But, uh, it's a learning curve. I'm sure this road will link me up with the Burrington Coombe Road. And, uh, and I need to, I, although I'm basically, I'm doing exactly what I would be doing if I was up on the uh, area of Outstanding Beauty. I'd be still walking down. Um, but I've got to try and link up somehow. I don't know how far I've deviated away from my, what would have been a normal route. I don't want to end up on a dangerous road either. So this is Sheila's Adventures on the 23rd of August 2019. I'm on a really big hike anyway. And I've just finished my first small bottle of water. Um, I'll just see what the time is. So like I said, I've already, this is a big hike anyway without doing diversions. But I'm not panicking, I reckon it should lead up. Right, it's 10 to 2. Now, this is one of the reasons of bringing Alberta. Um, I've got a good six hours of uh, light. Right, anyway, good six hours. I don't imagine it being that long. But basically, this is a chance sometimes when you do a diversion. Um, it's a new route that you can use. Yeah, because I was right up on the top there. I came across a field. Um, and it looked a well-used route. So it could be that... I'm just hoping I'll pick up a sign in a minute. But I can't keep going doing diversions. I've already had to turn back on small little ones. Um, I, I've done. See, there's a, a route down there. Now... I don't want to go down there and then find, and though I can see the area of outstanding beauty quite well now. I'm going to walk up here first. There's no sign there. I can see a car parked. There's the area of outstanding beauty. So all I've done really is come down through that valley instead of coming down there. Hopefully I'll pick up a public footpath in a minute. I didn't want to wander down there yet, unless I see it takes me to the area of Outstanding Beauty, which it possibly does, but there's no sign. But there might be one at the top. Over and out.
Right, coming back on, I went up there, it's a very, very fast, dangerous road. Nowhere for pedestrians to walk, so I reckon this must be the bridle path. I've seen um, foot, hoof prints. I hope it's not a dead end. Because somehow, it's only a couple hundred yards away where I've got to be. But this could be a private, private land, you know, I don't know. This could be a dead end even. Got no idea. All I know is I need to get in. I need to get sort of in there. This could be a dead end. Then what am I going to do? There's no signs, you see. Now this is what happens when you come out with Sheila. Looks like somebody's farm, doesn't it? I'm hoping I can get through this way. Alright, there's a barn, right? I'm gonna turn off for a minute.